And we have team coverage of the heat and humidity today as it affects some of our local schools. Some districts in the Miami Valley closed or let students go home early today because of the high temperatures. Two News reporter Devro Bogart continues our team coverage live in Vandalia. Simmons Elementary School does not have air conditioning. A spokesperson says it's the only building in the district without it. But in Clark County, the superintendent for Southeastern Local Schools says none of their buildings have adequate AC. Some don't have any at all. And one local lawmaker tells us he can't believe this is still an issue. About 285 students at Demet Elementary in Vandalia were released early Wednesday afternoon. In addition, Southeastern Local Schools in Clark County canceled school today. Both superintendents say the heat plus mandatory masks would have been too much for the kids. You know, if you've been outside playing and it's hot and you're coming in, you're putting your mask on. I mean, it's not as easy as if you didn't have that mask on. So as far as breathing and heat retention and things like that, or just even psychologically, you know, I think it, it impacts them sometimes. Southeastern Local School Superintendent David Shea says this postponed their first day of school, which was supposed to be today. We'll, we'll see them. I know we're going to see them shortly. I want it to be under the right circumstances, so if it's a little bit too hot, then you know, we'll, we'll delay it or we'll let them out a little bit early and make sure that they're, they're safe and uh, you know, we'll pick it up the next day. Shea says they don't have air conditioning in their school buildings and already shifted their schedule years ago to miss the beginning of August. But Republican representative from Miamisburg, Naraj Antani, says every school should have those features. He proposed a bill in 2018 that would have required to see which schools don't have air conditioning and allocate funds to meet some standard for that. Today, he tells 2 News in a statement, For years now, I have seen schools cancel school because of heat, and I continue to fight for them at the state level to provide adequate funding to renovate their buildings. We live in the 21st century, and we must have school facilities that can provide the education needed for this century. Shea says as of now, they have no plans to add a school improvement levy to a ballot that would fund the installation of AC. Reporting live, Devereaux Bogart, 5 on 2.